from a technology perspective, we actually today are already monitoring and looking at um, fatigue. And I think the key thing for us to do is understand when we see fatigue happening, and there's a correlation perhaps between not just you've been driving for nine hours, but here's what your pattern was the day before, here's what you're actually doing right after you come off a break, and be able to actually take the real data, <laughs> not just the hours of service data, but now attach that to kind of video on your skills and your maneuvers to really get an accurate picture of truly what's happening, right, as it relates to fatigue. Our system's designed to take data in from any particular source. Um, one thing we haven't done yet is actually taken any of the kind of the wearables and bio data, biometric data that's actually out there and see if there's a high degree of, of input and correlation to fatigue. So I think that's an opportunity for us to actually be bringing that data in. At the current time, just seeing particular maneuvers, swerve patterns, kind of lane keeping and tying that then looking back to the hours of service information is also giving us patterns and information on existing technology without, without integrating the biometric data. Most of the information today that we're seeing from video and, and if a driver is fatigued is a little bit more uh, delayed than we'd like it to be, right? And um, part of that's because if we want to get a fleet involved to talk to the driver immediately, we want to make sure that there's not a false positive associated with it. So that's a hard thing that we're still working through is to really understand um, what's a truly a, a, a drowsy driver that needs to have immediate action versus someone who happened to just yawn you're right, uh, on the video. And so we're still working with trying to perfect kind of how, what kind of action you should take when. Our customers every single day, you know, wake up in the morning and say, you know, there's three or four drivers that I think we, we need to talk, talk with uh, because we're seeing something that needs to be improved. And we give them a very clear, focused way to take action and to know which drivers probably need some attention. Um, and they do that every day. At the same time, we have fleets that are, you know, able to uh, positively use video every single day. I was just with somebody um, earlier today, 4,000 vehicle fleet, and all he was so proud of this great evasive maneuver um, that his driver did to avoid a head-on collision, and he wants to make sure that that message is communicated to the entire driver population in the company. So there's everything from, hey, somebody needs some help, to, wow, there was an incredible uh, skill that was demonstrated, and I want to show everybody in the fleet, you know, how, how positive that was.